welcome back to my channel. My name is Hope Taylor and I am a photographer serving both Charleston and Savannah. And this YouTube channel is where I share education for photographers as well as a little bit of a peek into my life living in the low country. And today we are talking about senior sessions, which are my favorite thing to photograph. I have been a photographer for almost nine years now, which is absurd. Um, but I started my entire business photographing only seniors and they are the number one thing that I still photograph in my business and the work that I am the most known for. So I'm excited to talk about that today. But before we dive in, I have a free gift for you if you would like to download it in the description below. It's my five go-to poses for senior guys and a little bit of a peek into how I structure my senior guy experience. Because I think if you're a senior photographer, you know that posing girls is a little bit easier than posing guys. They can be a little bit intimidating. So if you want my senior guy posing guide, it's a free gift down in the description. I would love for you to download that to help you out at your next shoot. But what we're going to dive into today was actually a request from someone on Instagram to talk about blogging senior portrait sessions. So let's give a little bit of a like backtrack here because I have been blogging for nine years now too. I've been blogging as long as I have been in business and I still think there's a lot of value in blogging your photography work. I think that things like reels and TikToks and video content have kind of taken over and I do think all of those things are incredibly important, but I think that blogging still has a place in your business for SEO, um, for showing your clients your most recent work, and just to have a place that's an archive for all of your past sessions and all of your past memories. So I blog every single senior session that I photograph. The years that I have spokesmodel teams, I only blog the spokesmodel senior sessions, um, but right now I don't have a team because I just moved, so I'm photographing every senior session that I shoot. So. I wanted to give a few tips for how I blog these senior sessions and make them really worthwhile in my business from an SEO and strategy perspective and how I streamline the workflow to make it only take like 30 minutes for me to do this. So number one is that I use a program called Blog Stomp to size my images and prepare them for the blog post. I have an entire in-depth video on Blog Stomp on this channel. So if you want to go watch that, I'm gonna do like a really quick overview. But Blog Stomp essentially allows me to bulk size my images at one time for my blog and also pair images together to create a really like high-end luxury looking blog post in the way that the images are actually displayed. So this is what the inside of blog stomp looks like. This is Taylor senior session. She is adorable. Um, but all I do is I go in here and I pair images together um, in a way that makes them a little bit more easy to consume. I think that if you're going to include 50 to 60 plus images in a blog post, but you're just including them all individually stacked on top of one another, that can get really really, really long and feel like a lot for somebody to look at. Um, but I like to pair some images together to make that blog post a little easier to consume and a little bit more like aesthetically elevated while people are reading through. So I will pick my favorite images to do individually by themselves. So I love this one, for example. And then I will take some images that are, I like to do a wide shot paired with a close up. So I will pair this with an image like this and it looks beautiful. It looks really high end. It looks like there was way more variety in the session because they're paired together sporadically throughout the post. And I just click stomp it, it saves it, and I upload all of them into the blog post and WordPress. So this streamlines my workflow by a whole lot uh, because it allows me to do this really, really quickly. So can't recommend blog stomp enough. I'm gonna link it in the description down below. And then this is what my blog looks like. This is what Taylor's senior session blog post looks like. So a um, couple tips really quickly for SEO. So the second thing I wanted to talk about SEO is really important and the most valuable thing that I think comes from blogging your sessions. SEO stands for search engine optimization and it allows your blog posts and your website and your work to be found when people are searching on Google and other search engines. So when I am blogging, my number one priority is to think about using keywords that people might be searching for when they're searching for a photographer. So things like the geographic location that I'm shooting or the name of the park that I'm shooting um, are things that people are going to be Googling because they might be Googling Charleston, South Carolina, senior photographer, but they're probably not just Googling Hope Taylor and they're probably not Googling Taylor's name. So I want to be sure that I'm using keywords that people would actually be searching for. So that's why the titles of my blog posts are always something like a winter senior portrait session at the battery or a glowy spring senior session at the Mills house. I'm being very specific about where those sessions were taken. And then the, the name Charleston, South Carolina is always in the subtitle so that people that are searching 
searching for those locations and searching for those areas of Charleston are more likely to find this blog post. And then when you are typing this little blurb here about your blog post, you wanna make sure that you're using those keywords in that blurb as well. So that's why in the first couple sentences, I say Charleston multiple times, um, I say winter, I say December, I'm using other keywords that would point people back to this blog post based on what they might be Googling. And then as you're scrolling through, I like to put these little real time, like quote unquote real time thoughts as people are reading so that they feel like they're reading along with me and I'm really giving them feedback into what I loved about this session. So I go through and actually comment on which ones were my favorite and maybe tell a little bit of a story about a location at the session or something that happened at the shoot. But I try to really make it readable by inserting those comments in, in between photos so people feel like they're reading it and getting my real time like ad libs thoughts as they're reading. And then the last last tip that I have for you when it comes to blogging senior sessions is this little portion down here at the bottom and that says if you enjoyed this post you may also love and I link three related blog posts at the bottom of every blog post and some people think that this is like auto generated and it's not I manually do this for every single blog post because I want people to go down a rabbit hole of reading my blog it would be really easy for them to scroll to the end of this blog post and then just go to a different website or go back to Google or go back to whatever they're doing. But if instead they finish this blog post and see, oh, there's another summer senior portrait session at the battery. I want to see that one too. Then they start scrolling through that. And at the bottom of that post, they see something else that they want to scroll through. Then they get into a rabbit hole of getting sucked into my website. And they're way more likely to actually stay and inquire if they see more and more of my work than if they were to just click off and start scrolling through another photographer's website at the end of the blog post. So those are my three biggest tips for blogging senior sessions. Let me know if you have any more comments about this down below. I would be happy to make more videos on this topic and be sure to download that free guide in the description. It's really, really helpful and jam packed with information. Hundreds of photographers have downloaded it across the globe and have found it useful at their guy senior sessions. But I share new YouTube videos every single week for photographers and I would love to have you subscribe to be notified when those YouTube videos go live. But until next time, y'all have a good one. Bye.